Hey Scorpio, this is the general reading for the sign of Scorpio. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio strongly in their chart. Please um, realize and please understand um, that each of us uh, um, have different backgrounds. We have um, lived, we live within different cultures. We have had different experiences in our lives and that um, we all move with different speeds. Um, some of us have um, Scorpio in different places in our natal chart and uh, and we all have different types of uh, personalities. So um, we are going to be looking into the future here on three different categories for the sign of Scorpio. For anyone who resonates with Scorpio, um, we're going to be looking at money and resources. We're going to be looking at health and well-being and then love, which does involve family, friends and romance or romance, just to kind of depending on what the message is that comes forward. Um, we are going to be only looking into the future and we'll be looking into the next few weeks, knowing that um, each um, person is going through something slightly different, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and then in the extended, we'll be looking at the people who are around you and what they could be experiencing in their lives. And, and we will take the situation of money and resources, health and well-being and love out farther into the future, several months into the future. Um, so let's go ahead and get started in this general reading. We'll go ahead and start with money and resources and move forward with health and well-being and go into love. Um, I'm going to shuffle for each category now, and then we will go into each category after I'm done. Um, all right, my friends, let me go ahead and get started here looking at love and money. Love and money. Goodness gracious. Love and resources. Looking at love. <sighs> Maybe we should just look at love. Let's look at money and resources. Finance and resources. What do I mean about money and resources? What do I mean about resources? That's the tools that we have around us every day that can help us in our achievements. So um, it could be our voice. It could be our the equipment that we have around us. Could be our money that we have around us, um, our food, our personal strength, whatever this is, the word resources really means to you. And we do have the four of pentacles kind of sticking out for some time here. Now let me settle my energy and um, I'll get get these um, cards to start flipping out. That's too many. Just one at a time, please. One at a time, please. There's a lot of energy here with Scorpio around money and resources. Love and money. That introduction was something else. I'm not going to restart it, though. I think these kind of things are, are just kind of meant to happen. Not everything we do has to be perfect. It can be funny, too, when it's not perfect. There you are, Scorpio, King of Cups. Now, this deck is a little bit harder to see. It's a little bit darker, um, but I felt like it might fit with your energy. That card hit my hand when it fell. We'll see how I feel about it when we start to look at it. All right. Now let's look at health and well-being. Health and well-being as we move out into the next several weeks. Health and well-being. Health and well-being. All right, and now let's look at love, which could include family, friends, or possibly romance. Love, family, friends, romance, compassion, the heart center. Maybe I should call it the heart center. There's someone doing yard work next door, so if you hear a, a, a sound or a, it's a lawnmower, so hopefully it doesn't come through on the on the speaker uh, on the audio. 
If it does, I apologize, but I'm in this energy now, so let's see what we can get here. Sometimes the sound of lawnmowers can be kind of relaxing. And there's that Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I'm sorry, if you hear that lawnmower, um, hopefully it won't go very long. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. We have the Four of Pentacles next to the King of Cups. Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups are in the upright. The world is in um, the reverse, and the Page of Wands is in the reverse. So um, as you move out into the next few weeks, I, I feel like this is um, a really, for this group of Scorpio people, an energy of really kind of holding yourself together, holding your family together, holding your emotions together. Um, this is a really it goes deep into the, into who you are, Scorpio, as an emotional energy, um, because there is something here that you are wanting to gather up around you. And this is a good feeling. I don't think this is a, this isn't um, the four of pentacles that talks about needing to surrender. This is a good feeling. It is protecting what you hold dear to you, valuing what is dear to you, um, learning how to nourish um, and really focusing on um, the priorities in your life and nourishing those priorities, making sure that they're stable, that they're healthy, um, that they're well fed, um, that you have what you need to make it through in this time with the Four of Pentacles. This is understanding the value um, of the coin and how the, the money and resources can help bring stability um, into our lives and how important it is to really nourish that and, and take care of it and understand the value of it. And it's okay. And it is encouraged um, to really live in the energy of um, I will protect and hold close to me what is there um, that will help to nourish and to take care of and to create stability for myself and the people that are around me or the animals that are around me or the plants and the earth that's around me um, with the Four of Pentacles. So it's an energy of nurturing that which you hold to be most dear for you with the Four of Pentacles. We do have the King of Cups here. That's why I'm saying the Four of Pentacles next to the King of Cups. It talks about nurturing. The King of Cups takes action. That's what you do, Scorpio, in your life, um, especially when you're in, a, in an empowered energy, is you take action and you bring compassion, you bring care, you bring healing, you bring solutions. Um, you might not be able to say the words that you need to say just as smoothly as the next person, uh, but you can make things happen. And you do it because of the generosity and the compassion that just bubbles out over the top of your cup that you're holding out here in this card with the King of Cups energy. Um, this is a masculine energy. Um, this could be a masculine energy in your life that is part of this experience for you, or more likely you are in a masculine energy as you take charge, you, you step forward in, in a, in, in a way, um, to, uh, really go to work now to do the things, to take the actions that will bring, um, the most, the, the, um, the, the most stability um, we're talking about stability and oftentimes resources and money bring stability into our lives. Um, you could be taking action now in regards to your money, in regards to making decisions about how best to spend it, how best to earn it, um, how best to uh, manage it. Um, this could also be about the resources that we need, the tools that we need to be successful in our lives. Many of you are healers in some way or another, whether you work in a healing industry or not, you bring healing and vitality and care and compassion into the space around you, Scorpio. So um, whatever you're doing, th there is a focus now on solving problems, um, creating um healing in your environments and using tools and and resources and money to do that so if you're a doctor you are um, really a focus now on the resources that are around you if you are a nurse you are doing the same if you work in a completely different industry you are still doing the same you're still doing that you're you're taking action i keep saying that taking action that's what the king of cups does he take takes action because of the love in his heart to um, bring um, a, um, a sense of rightness, a sense of wellness into the environment. And um, whether you are a woman or a man, you can still take action. Women can take action all day long. That's what women do. They take action. And so lots of times, even if you are a, 
a female, you lots of times, especially in times like this, you could be in a masculine energy. So there's a lot of masculine energy here when we look into the Scorpio, um, the Scorpio um, consciousness. So this is a taking action now. And when somebody with heart centers as powerful as you take action, this is where um, we can really find solutions and um, really we can really bring experiences forward in a um, powerful way when we um, work from the heart center of the Scorpio energy. We do have the world energy in reverse and the page of wands in reverse. Um, so these energies here, I'm not necessarily sure that they should be in the reverse. They both came out kind of clumsily. I'm going to leave them like that. Um, but this is bringing in a new beginning. This is ending something and bringing in a new beginning. So I feel like for many of you, you guys are um, really working now to... Um, stop something you're you're working on it, it's it's about to i'm going to turn them up, upright because i it's more comfortable to have them upright it's good to acknowledge though um this is these two energies are together i feel the world and the page of wands feel like they're together and um you could be really working to end something or to start something um because if the world is in reverse that tells me that there's a situation coming to an end um, and with with the world coming into the upright now, it tells me that a new experience is starting. So you're in the middle in the next few weeks of, of creating some sort of transformation around an experience that you're having in your external world. This is in the world around you. Um, when you have the King of Cups energy, that tells me that you're internally balanced, you're strong, you're compassionate, you are understanding your emotional center and the need to do something in your home or workplace or in your community to bring solutions forward. Um, this is being strong internally. So um, from this, I, I often feel that the queens come first, the queen energies come first, and then the king energies follow. That's kind of how I feel with tarot, especially these days. Um, I, I do feel that. So I think that you are internally healthy. You're compassionate. You're loving. You've really learned how to bring fulfillment and um, emotional health into your own heart and now you're taking action and you are um, busy creating change in the world around you in some way <clears throat> and you're working to bring in a, a new solution or a new or a new experience here with the world energy the world energy is an expansive energy um, this expansive energy is um, bringing in brand new ways of thinking, brand new ways of feeling about the the systems that are around us, the way we operate, the our um, uh, the steps and the processes. And um, the, with the King of Cups, the ultimate victory here, the ultimate goal is healing. And so when we have this world energy with the Page of Wands, I think it's learning how to operate in a new way. It's learning how to think differently and uh, and to really understand the goal here is to bring in healing is to bring in new um, vitality for people um, and so I think with the page of wands and the world in reverse and then moving to the upright is finding new strength finding new passion and thinking of things in in a different way to bring in a brand new beginning um, this is change and this this is creating change um, for for this group and it does revolve around the resources that we have at our disposal um, our systems and our methods for for achieving them the money that we have um, that can be used in so many ways to help people. It is a valuable tool. Money is a valuable tool um, that can help us find success. So it's really um, being in an emotional place, Scorpio, being strongly masculine in this in this place and understanding that money and resources are of utmost importance now as you move forward into the future. So um, it, I, I think that there's enough here money to to do this in, in some way, in a bigger way, perhaps, or even in your own family or within your own small group, um, that there is enough um, that there needs that there is a focus now on um, transforming the way you take action in some way doing it differently than you've done it before. And in this process of realizing the true goals, um, there is a lot of ego that goes by the side. Um, we can't do it this way because this is the rule that's been created. And this is how the system goes. Here is the King of Cups, the heart of you saying, what is the goal? What is the goal now? And where is it necessary to change procedures and change the way we've thought before as we move into a new shift of our consciousness? Um, so this is removing old structures here in a greater way around the environment um, around you and really understanding the goal and the criteria for meeting that goal and realizing that this is perhaps a time in life when we can adjust the way we do things to um, bring in solutions for ourselves. So this is um, these energies that I see um, revolving around from the reverse into the upright. 
All right, let's look at health and well-being now. Health and well-being now. Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, the Empress. All right, so with the Ten of Swords, this is a um, talking about um, a, a a time that's been ter that's been rough. It it has been um, something that has perhaps hit you in many different ways. Um, they, these are messages coming in. These are realizations. These are decisions that have been made that could have been quite painful for you, Scorpio. Um, this is this is a period of time that's coming to an end. I do see that there's a better day ahead. Um, you could have had to really kind of come to terms with all of these different. Um, I just feel like there were there was an onslaught, an onslaught of arrows that damaged the heart that first came into the mind through the eyes or the brains or the ears that fell through the throat and down into the heart center. It could have affected the way you were able to speak even because the heart center is very much connected to the throat. Um, so it could have affected the way you, you were able to express yourself here. Um, I do think that it's coming to an end because right next to the Ten of Swords is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is a very um, industrious and creative energy. Um, this is an expansive energy. If you can see, this person's arms are out and um, there's, there's new ideas afoot. Um, this is a very scientific energy that is mixed with creativity. And so, um, Scorpio, that is just right up your alley, this science mixed with creation. Um, and we, we see new, um, new work being done, um, compromising, negotiating, um, really finding, um, solutions in your life that are, um, that require a different way of thinking um, that also um, have to do with other people, small groups of people, um, two or three different people. Maybe the three of pentacles is a small group of people that can work together to create change that can build something together. I think for, for this, there, there is also, there, there is something that's already been established. I don't think it's, it's significant. It's something that is just in the works. Um, it has just been created. It's only a three but it's something that can be very powerful as we move forward, as it gains more strength, it gains more, um, um, it gains more stability. It, 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 it builds into something bigger and that building into something bigger, that creating more stability is something that you're going to be working in Scorpio to, to bring that into fruition. So you're very active in this energy and, and you're inspired by this energy and you are, um, um, understanding the, the importance of the resource and money um, and how it can affect real life here. So this is very much tied in with money and resources as health and well-being. Um, I do think it helps you at this time to stay busy, to stay focused on whatever this is. This helps you um, really overcome this pain that you've been in here with the Ten of Swords. Um, you are moving forward in an energy of love. This is love, compassion, inspiration, um, care for one another. Um, it is understanding that um, our hearts, when our hearts are engaged and we feel excited about what we're working on, that um, th this is talking about real success here. Now, you could be a little shy about what you're thinking or what you'd like to do, or what, if this is a relationship that you're working through, you could be a little shy because the Knight of Cups is shy. Um, in, in how um, he or she moves forward. But ultimately, this is um, from the heart center. It's deep, deep emotional. Um, so it is, a, it is an energy of inspiration and emotional um, pull. There is an emotional pull. Just like sometimes we say with, with the wands energy, it's a pull from the, from the belly, from the abdomen. You're pushed forward in a way that you're not sure like why you're doing something, but you feel like um, it is what is needs to be done. And you can step very courageously into that into that situation. Um, the Knight of Cups is very similar in this energy where there's something in your heart that's pushing you forward. Um, it could be somewhat spontaneous where you're hit um, with emotion and you know that this is um, meant for you. You know that this is a part of your own learning experience and you know that it inspires your heart. Um, it could bring tears to your eyes. Um, you could be emotional here about whatever that you're working on here with the Three of Pentacles. So you're moving forward in, in an emotional way. You're compassionate with 
people, you're compassionate towards yourself. Um, you are, um, raring to go. The heart is raring to go. The mind might be holding you back. So make sure that um, it's important for you to understand that the mind can sometimes control the heart. If the mind, um, if the heart, if there's a lot of thoughts that revolve around a desire that comes through from the heart center, the thoughts can sometimes, especially if you've been experiencing the 10 of swords, the thoughts can sometimes slow down what the heart is asking. Um, that said, we, we do have the Empress here, which tells me that there is a lot of emotional balance here, um, that there's practicality here. There is um, hard work that's being done. Uh, there is passion about this and dedication and excitement um, about whatever you're focused on. Um, there is clarity now, um, ideas that are coming through, um, realizations that are being made, a new understandings that are being accepted. And um, you, there is love here, which is um, compassion and care and understanding um, what really helps us um, find peace and relaxation and true happiness in our life. Um, so this is a mother energy. So I, I really like these energies that are here. It looks like the pain of this is kind of starting to wear wear off or you're you're finding yourself um, in a new um, sense of, of, of clarity, almost in a new reality. You are really working hard at, at bringing stability in, um, maybe working with a small group of people or, or working together with your family um, to make something happen to to create more abundance or to create a solution or to create uh, more production of something. Um, you're moving forward in compassion and love um, just in your own way. So you could be feeling very comfortable in the way this is moving forward for you, Scorpio. Um, it's moving forward in an energy of a heart center and an energy of love rather than um, a force that comes from the abdomen or rather than um, just ideas that come from the mind. Um, it's It's not all about money either. Um, because you have this this heart energy, it does probably involve tools and resources connected to above um, the the earlier reading. But ultimately, you're being led forward by your heart, and it's this mothering energy that is um, fueling 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 this for you um, with the Empress energy. So, um, I think with health and well being, whatever you're focusing on is creating happiness within you, even though this has been hard. Um, you're, you're willing to step forward in a new way and create something that could be quite successful and abundant. Um, and you have this very mothering quality about you as you move forward. So the Empress is here. I think you're going to stay balanced. You're going to stay healthy. Um, you're going to move forward in a way that can help mother a situation, whatever that is, Scorpio. Um, all right, let's move into love now. Moving into love, and this could have to do with family, friends, or romance. Here's that Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Five of Swords. With the Knight of Wands energy, um, we have this um, passion. There could be passion, there could be excitement. Um, um, we have the queen of pentacles energy. Now the queen of pentacles energy usually focuses on stability. She focuses on money. She focuses on reward returns, um, how a business is doing or how a family pocketbook is doing, um, and how to budget out for the future. And so this is a very, um, rational, logical, analytical mind. Um, but this is also an energy that really is hardworking, dedicated, intentionally um, focused to bringing in betterment. Um, it is a good energy. Um, sometimes if the Queen of Pentacles is, um, if there's something going on around the Queen of Pentacles energy, um, like chaos or even a crisis or, or something that is unsettling, um, the Queen of Pentacles can actually move forward in the Knight of Wands energy, which is this rushing energy that's very powerful. It is a energy that comes from, again, the abdomen that pushes you forward or pulls you forward um, to take action. So this Queen of Pentacles um, uh, with love, you could be taking action now in in, a, in this way um, with family members. Maybe you have elderly elderly parents or there are neighbors around you that are older um, or perhaps you are um, uh, understanding um, that there is a relationship here that is moving forward um, very quickly, very passionately here. And you're in the Queen of Pentacles. You are 
um, focused on money, you're focused on stability. So whatever is here with this rushing, excited, um, kind of bursting of energy, um, I, I think that this energy here that's here is going to be short lived because there is something here, um, that is creating, um, some type of a disturbance with the four of cups and the five of swords. There, there could be a rushing energy here that could really be a strong energy. You're trying to be stable with love. You're, you're trying to be stable. You're trying to do the right things. You, you maybe are, um, and I almost wonder if this is romance for some of you. You maybe are having opportunities around that, that just, around you that just don't inspire you. Um, how you feel about people now could be very different than how you feel, felt about people two months ago. You could have your priorities completely adjusted here. Well, before maybe a month or two ago, you were focused on something completely different. You were in the Knight of Wands energy and now something has happened here. Um, that has, has really put you in the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is a completely different way of looking at life and a completely different set of actions that you take as a Queen of Pentacles. You could have offers around you that just don't inspire you anymore, that um, you could be looking now at, at something new in your life that, that you're having realizations about. Um, you could be picking up a new cup and holding that cup and saying, this is truly my cup. These other cups were maybe distractions or um, maybe maybe I have a renewed sense of what my cup is and what the situation is that I want to be in. Um, and there could be some sort of disconnection here that you are working through with the Five of Swords. There could be people here um, in, in love that could be confusing you or making you feel guilty or really having you question um you know, your, your own understanding, or you, you could be going through some sort, some sort of a battle. And Scorpio, you guys, um, think very rationally and very detailed. You can really overanalyze and you can go quite deep in your emotions. And, um, you, you might be, um, very dedicated and very passionate about something. And it, you might see that, that the people around you might have changed agendas or differences too. There could be two different people here that you were, um, this could be two different people, two different friends, group of friends, or, or even people that are together romantically where before, um, before a month or before two months from now, you could have been in the Knight of Wands, which is all about passion, excitement, moving forward, um, a lack of fear and, and moving into, and into new territories. And now you're in the energies of the Queen of Pentacles, um, really, um, understanding that you might be picking up a new cup and feeling differently about the people in your life. And this could create um, changes in our friendships. They could create changes in what we hold to be dear for us, because it looks like um, you're really having to stand your ground here about your belief system and about um, what clarity that you have within the mind, within your realizations, um, because the heart, again, is also connected to the mind because the thoughts and the belief systems do um, affect um, and sometimes they are initiated by the heart, but they do affect the heart. Um, so you might be having to communicate things. You might be having some kind of pettiness in the conversations you have with acquaintances. You might even not even um, feel a need to speak to people who aren't as close to you um, as you've now learned, because this is about here um, finding a new cup and um, coming to some new realization or having um, a, a a discontentedness about the situations around you or the, or the experiences around you and picking up a new cup and saying, okay, now I understand this is what's important to me. And there could be some kind of squirmishes here um, as you step forward in that way. The queen of pentacles is pretty um, solid. Um, her energy doesn't really flex very much. And so um, I think that um, you're going to be steady and consistent and, and um, compassionate for situations here, but ultimately your this group of people could be picking up a new cup or even saying uh, maybe there were um, a series of experiences around you and you could have been involved with many different experiences. You could have even been dating multiple people or going through and, and spending your time doing a multitude of things. And now you could be saying in the Queen of Pentacles energy, this is where I want to focus. This is exactly what I want to focus on. So for the rest of these um, old priorities, you could be um, reducing those priorities. And in that reduction or in that um, 
in that desire to focus only on one cup or what's truly important, you could be going through disconnection conversations or having some sort of, of small conflicts um, revolving around that. So um, that's health and well-being um, here for this group. Um, remember, well-being is how we're feeling about ourselves, our emotions, our heart centers, our mental capacities, how we feel within our bodies and about the environments around you. All right, let's look at... Are we done? Yeah, we're done. And I said health and well-being here. Well, um, it is love. So please forgive me. I when I do three categories like this, and I and I work on allowing the information to flow, I can get confused. That's why it's hard to do these kind of readings for me. Um, but I just felt like it was important to do this, Scorpio. Uh, because we all are all considering a very strongly different aspects of our lives. And I really want to dig into this. So this is about love and it is about how we um, love our families, how we love the groups of people around us, how we find priorities in our lives and how situations like this can really change us. That can really help us hone in to what is truly valuable for us. Um, and it, it can truly um, create a need to, um, in a way here, um, make changes and create boundaries in our lives. And sometimes it, this can be hard and it will require um, expressions and communication. And it will require us to be really be strong in our convictions now as we really learn about what our priorities are, be reminded about what our priorities in, in life are. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, for love, there is, um, now that I can refocus on this energy of love, I think there is really here, um, a group of people who are saying, I know I have all of these cups and I know this is a part of my experience, but now I choose this one cup. I pick it up and I hold it and I really feel what's in it. Cause look at this. He's, you know, this person is really focused in on this, focused in on this cup that he, that he, that he or she is holding here, really focused in on it and feeling it right there by the heart center, letting the energy of it move into the body. And then having some sort of almost in a way boundaries here as there's people here are moving off or changes that are being made here um, to protect this cup, perhaps. All right. Um, thank you all, Scorpio. It is um, it is a pleasure to read for you. Um, you guys have a beautiful energy. It goes deep. It's emotional and it's also quite inspiring and powerful. And I do feel like um, this is exactly what. Um, many of you are experiencing now and it will help um, to solidify your place in the environment and it will help to bring um, solutions forward here as we all hone in on what truly is important for us. And when we do that, we can create great change when we hone in and we focus. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to move to the extended now. We'll look at the people who are around you. Um, then we'll take one more step forward and look out into the future, um, farther into the future, months into the future, look at money and resources, health and well-being, and love, which includes family, friends, and romance. All right, thank you all very much, Scorpio.